Hello everybody, welcome back to another fossil hunting video. I've got up at 5am, hopefully to get a good day's collecting in. Let's head on down to the beach and see what I can find. So since the last time I was here, a boulder has fallen right from the top, somewhere up there, and rolled all the way down and landed in the middle of the pathway. Almost at the beach now, just down them steps at the bottom and then let the collecting begin. Look at that, you know I love a really good nice fresh plate of ammonites preserved in shale. Beautiful. And right next to it, there's another one. Unfortunately, these ammonites preserved in shale are very soft and after a few tides, pretty much get bashed to pieces. The first good looking ammonite that I found today, let's see if it's complete. Ah, uh, no. Not found much so far at all. However, I'm only right at the start, so there's plenty of time just yet. I'm thinking that's a very worn Elegantisserus ammonite. I'll give it a tap later in the video and knock that cap off and hopefully it'll reveal the center. A nice double nodule there, two ammonites inside. This is lovely. There's a very worn ammonite on one side and then on the other there's a harposterus and lots of other ammonites washed up. Unfortunately it's very sea worn. Maybe I'll take it. Depends how desperate I get. My bag is really light at the moment so it wouldn't hurt. I've just spotted an absolute belter of a ammonite nodule. I'm going to move towards it and see if you can pick it up. I'm stood right above it now. Oh wow. Look at that. Nice looking cannonball laying here. Someone has already opened it unfortunately. Interesting looking pyrite nodule inside here. In fact, I was going to get my chisel out but it looks like it could just be pulled out. No, I'm going to have to get my chisel. And there was one. Look at that. Wasn't really expecting that, but well happy. To be honest with you, that was the first time I've ever got one out of the loose slab, which actually contained an ammonite. Usually they're totally empty, but I am very happy with that. That's popped perfectly too. It's not broken in the right place. I think that really needs to be prepared. Just for fun, let's reveal this slab absolutely full of Elegantisserus ammonites. There's already a nice looking crack running right through, so it should split really easy. To be fair, probably won't even need my hammer. Look at that, a fresh deathbed. 
just on that very last bit. Now that is absolutely stunning. I'm going to probably take that back and glue it up behind to make it secure. Oh wow, look at that, <laughs> oh my god, I was not expecting that. I wish I filmed me just tapping it open. Someone had already given it a few taps on the side. So I just tapped it a few times, not expecting much. And wow, look at that. Beautiful Hildoceros Ammonite. Brilliant. Now I've got to carry it back, but can't complain, can we? Well, that's certainly made it worth getting up so early. Absolute belter of an Ammonite. Well happy with that. Hi everyone, I'm back up from the beach now. So here is that beautiful big Hildoceros Ammonite that I found. Take the negative off. It's an absolute beast. So I'm gonna measure the Ammonite right now. So you can see it's about six inches, which is certainly on the larger side for this species of Ammonite. Here is another example of a Hildoceros Ammonite that I found after a large cliff fall. This one is also 6 inches. Unfortunately this one doesn't have a pinpoint middle. But the one I found today still has quite a bit of rock covering the very centre. So that could be a very good indicator that there will be a pinpoint centre. So now I'll show you the biggest Ammonite that I've ever found. It's an absolute beauty, as you can see. I've had it professionally prepared and it has a middle that goes right to the center. Let's measure it. And you can see it measures seven inches, which is certainly the largest ammonite that I've ever found. Put it in a bit of light so you can see. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of my fossil hunting finds in the future, please hit that subscribe button and give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. See you next time.